Why is everyone so dull? Why does everyone do what we must do instead of what we want to do? Those are the questions Kana asked herself. And that made her dislike the people around her. The other angels were just dull. And they just follow orders and do what the nuns say in order to learn. Kana had a lot of potential and was praised highly for it. She even has small potential in cosmic magic, but it isn't a pure cosmic aura. One day, she found some documents about planet Earth, and she studied them for months. Something clicked within her. Humans are more free-minded than angels. This is all pointless, she thought. The angels of Lyra are raised to be defenders or perfect angels, but hardly any of them decides to think on their own needs. This makes her dislike her fellow angels even more. To the point she scowls at them every time they talk to her. She wanted to graduate soon, but not to become a defender or a perfect angel. Well, that's one reason keeping her from graduating. Since her lessons were done, she had a lot of free time. The books here were boring, so in her interest on Earth, she made a request for a variety of Earth books. Animal books, human biology and psychology, and even folklore stories. Eventually, they brought comic books, and they blew her mind. She has never seen so many paintings telling a story that is more complex than children's books. Then she discovered Japanese light novels. There were a lot of stories there, with occasional art within them. This she liked the most. Over time, she became addicted to the Japanese entertainment. She keeps requesting access to read books and manga. She then tried watching anime, after seeing her favorite stories being adapted. All of this was so fun, but there was an issue. She felt lonely. Even though the, the other angels were dull to her, they still got along with each other. She wanted to share her love for Earth, but she never had time to connect. This made her feel even more lonely, but she never gave up hope. Eventually, she saw an angel being bullied. It was natural for bullying to happen at a very young age, but these guys were closer to her age. Then she overhears them saying, You're such a disgrace to Mother Lyra. Your flightlessness is putting shame to us angels. Kana has heard about the rumors about a flightless angel. Knowing that, she stepped in. They didn't resist, they just left. Her own glare was enough to drive them away. Yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. I, I need to go. What? N no. Sorry, I don't. I just don't have many friends. Even though I'm flightless. Humans. Us angels? Takuro. Huh? So after meeting, they became close friends. Kana slowly started to become happier the more she talked to Takuro. Takuro had friends, but Kana was the very first person who didn't care about, his, about him being flightless. She wanted to be friends and share her love for Earth Entertainment. As the years went by, Kana had inspirations to write stories. Eventually, she wanted to go to Earth and publish books. But the issue was is that she has yet to graduate. Being a perfect angel means throwing your own freedom to serve the creators and gods. Being a defender allows you to go to any planet and defend the balance of life. So, the answer became clear. Become a defender and go to Earth. However, that would leave her friend behind. Since he can't fly, he has little to no chance in graduating. She almost didn't want to leave, but Takuro encouraged her to go. He told her not to give up on the dream she had, otherwise she would just be like the other angels. Kana didn't want to leave him behind, but his words pushed her forward. After graduating, she had to give her stuff away because she can't bring them all to the Astro Station. Takuro kept most of them and sends them to her over time, but some she decided to give away. After seeing the smiles of the younger angels receiving new books and stuff from Earth, Kana decided to come visit when she can to give more gifts from Earth. She can't share everything she likes, but she can give them the chance to see other things out there. Although, due to work on Earth, she was only able to visit three times. She still thinks about Takuro every so often, but on her third visit, 
she didn't even see him. Back on Earth, she published three series, ranging in volume numbers. This took eight years on Earth and finally finishing her third series and making plans for a fourth one. But now, she felt lonely again. The humans are great, but she can't get close to them to avoid revealing her angel wings. She would drink with co-workers from time to time, but always leaves first before reaching wasted levels. Then she would often drink alone in her apartment. But then one day, she meets someone unexpected. And thus she regained happiness again after reuniting with Takuro, who got special permission to leave the orphanage. And a name change for some reason. Kana was an angel who saw everyone as dull. That isolated her. But when she finally took the first step out of that loner bubble, her views on everything changed as time went on, and it seems like Takuro was the center of her happiness. I still admire her to this day. My writing couldn't be that great like hers. But one day, I wish for us to be equals. I wonder what other things I will see in her in the future to come.